right, so let's get started. I want to show you a little bit closer the previously made card just so that we have an idea of where we want to go with this. So um, as you can see, I've got some ribbon here that I've used to close this, so I'm going to open it up. And then this card opens just like that. I've got a little, little ghost in here. I've got my little sentiment. Halloween, it's time to eat, drink, and be scary. I think this set is just adorable. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really simple, especially after you make your first one. All the rest are going to go really, really quickly. So let's get into it. As you can see, I am using... Well, I hope you can see. I'm using a whole bunch of these Zig Clean Color Markers. They are amazing. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know how much I love these. So I will be using these. And um, of course, the Art Impressions Trifolds. This one is the Haunted House Trifold set. And it comes with the three large images. Um, this one's for the left, the right, and then the center, and it has a sentiment, and then it's got the little ghost down here. So you've got five stamps in this set, and it's really awesome. Um, it's got all the instructions on the back, so in case you want to follow along my video with the instructions, you can do that as well. So let's get into it. I am using the Ranger watercolor paper and also my Fisker stamp press. Now this would be a good project to use your Misty on if you wanted to just to make sure because there are so many little lines in here it's really easy to stamp it down and have a really light area because these are a little bit larger stamps. These are pretty big. So you've got a lot of lines in here that you want to make sure you get. The Fiskars is great. I had no problem stamping this down. But if you're someone that has a lighter touch, you want to definitely um, have maybe a, a Misty or sort of just keep in mind that you want to press down harder. Now the paper I'm using is the Ranger 118 pound watercolor paper. I'm using the smooth side. So you've got a textured side and a smooth side. The smooth side is where it's at for this because of the lines. There are so many lines in there. I want to make sure I'm, I'm giving it the greatest opportunity to get all of those lines. So I have gone ahead and already stamped these down. And I haven't put in, actually, my little ghost. So let's put him in really fast because I want to make sure I'm coloring him at the same time. So I'm going to put him on my press. Press that down, ink him up, with my stays on. You want to use the stays on for sure, and we'll put him kind of down toward the bottom, because these are going to be cut out, so I don't care if they're close together, that's fine. This isn't how it's going to be on the card. I've got a whole bunch. I think I have about 15 different colors here. I will link those in the comment section below so that you guys can check those out. I also have my Art Impressions palette here that I'm going to be using and then of course my uh, number four connoisseur brush as well as my water. And then I'm also going to be using later in the video the Molotow Art Masking Liquid Pump Marker. I've heard tons of great things about this. I actually love this product. So I'm going to be using that in the end. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video now and link all of the markers that I use in the comments section so that you can see.
Now that we've got it colored, we're going to go ahead and cut these out. Now I want to leave this flatness here, this edge, and just kind of cut up around this area because then I can kind of measure how much of this I want left on the card. Um, so I'm going to do that. Now that I have everything cut out, I am going to kind of assemble this. Now you can see I cut very loosely here because I need to recut it when I attach it to my white cardstock. So this is my white cardstock. This is measured 11 by 5 inches and then it's scored in thirds. So it's about 3 and 5 eighths. So I've got this scored. I just used my score pal for this one. Art Impressions does have these pre-made if you're into having it already finished for you. That's really nice. So you can get those um, at artimpressions.com. And then also, you just want to kind of measure this. So I have a, a blue piece actually back here and I have it um, four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just adhere this to my white cardstock onto the back. So just put that right into the back here. And make sure it's on there really good. So that when you stick this out of the top, you can kind of see it comes off the edge a little bit, which I really like. That's totally up to you. You don't have to do that. So go ahead and glue your middle piece in. right into there make sure it's nice and straight and then I'm gonna flip this over I'm gonna decide how much of this I want in the bottom so I've kind of cut it out pretty far away from the actual image so I need to kind of come down and I'm just going to cut along here because this doesn't need to have this doesn't need to touch the back or the edge of the card I'm gonna do that and then I actually want this to come further over so I'm going to hold that there, flip this around, and just cut off that excess. And it won't be perfect, but that's okay. Because now I can. Oops, I've got that on the wrong side. <laughs> I want it like this. Same thing, just the other way. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this one on. Line up that bottom part. Okay, that's on good. Now I want to do the other side and decide how much of this one I want on that edge. So, it's about good. So I'm going to just cut down along here and then off the edge and then I might cut in just a little bit. And I don't fussy cut. If you want to fussy cut, you totally can. That's up to you. But I am not a fussy cutter. So I don't I don't ever do it. I don't like to do it. And so I just don't. Okay. So you can cut the edge off of that.
It's not perfect, it's fine. Don't overthink it. Trim that up just a little bit more. Okay. So now I've got these and I want to trim around the edges. I want to get a little bit closer to the image so that the two papers are lined up really nicely, which is why I didn't cut super close when I did the initial cut because I knew I, knew I was going to have to cut it again. So we'll go ahead and do both of these. got something now that kind of looks like this and you can take this edge off too so now you've got your little trifold So now you've got your little trifold. So now you have your little trifold. Open and close. So now let's get the sentiment ready. I've got my sentiment here and you can see I'm using one of the scrap pieces from my watercolor clippings. So we don't waste any paper. That watercolor paper can be expensive, so we don't want to waste any of that. I'm just going to stamp this down onto that paper. So I have something like that, and then I'm going to go cut it. All right, so now I've got it cut and I have a little backing. So I'm gonna glue these together. Put that right onto the backing, somewhere in the middle. Okay. So go ahead and put that right on the backing. And I'm now going to take my little trifold and I'm going to glue that right beneath that main image. Wherever you want to. Alright, I've got my little boo now, my little ghost, and I'm going to pop him up. Put a little pop-up cushion on there, and I'm going to put him right about there. So he's in there, and then when you close them, you've got that. 
Okay, now I'm going to use the Molotow pen. This one, make sure to shake that up. Now this is cardstock, so we're gonna be really careful and not overuse water, but I do wanna put in kind of a darker, starry night in here. And like I said, I'm not gonna use a lot of water. I'm just gonna do a little bit, but we'll put these in there just to get some dots in there. And then we'll put a little bit on here as well, just to kind of tie the front into the back. Doesn't need to be perfect, just kind of get them in wherever. And let that dry. Okay, now that this is dry, I am going to take my palette again. Now, don't forget, this is cardstock. This is not watercolor paper. So we just want to use a little bit of water. And I'm going to use my black zig marker. Because I want this to be night. But I'm also going to use my deep blue. So my deep blue there. And I'm going to mix these together and just get a really nice sort of wash in there so this is not buckling at all which is nice because I'm not using too much water and I want to keep it that way so just use a little bit of water and, and because it's cardstock it's actually not going to let you spread the color that far so just, you kind of have to be quick. over because these are now dry as well now you guys in in hindsight I wish I would have waited for the backing here and you can see I added my ribbon too so I just added a long piece of ribbon this is like a navy blue ribbon and I wish I would have waited to put my backing on at the end because I glued it on prior to putting the ribbon in which I just forgot <laughs> so you want to keep kind of I mean, it was easier to cut too without the backing. So I already had it glued on, so I left it. But if you're doing this, it might be easier just to kind of leave that till the end. But um, totally up to you. You can do it how I did it too, and it works fine. like that when it's closed. I've got a kind of an eerie dark night sky. And that is pretty much it. So you can just close this and then tie your little ribbon 
Make sure this end on the right is shorter than the one on the left. And you can just tie these. It may not be perfect, but that's okay. I think my ribbon's a little too short on the left, but you get the idea. So Okay, so let's tie this. basically the little trifold card and I hope you enjoyed this video I know it was super long so thank you for bearing with me and definitely subscribe for future videos let me know if you make this and you enjoy it um, you can do the same technique with any of the other trifolds that we offer except for the nesting trifolds which I will be doing a tutorial on as well so stay tuned for that and I hope you guys make these really cute little Halloween trifold cards for your next Halloween celebration so have a great day you guys bye